Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Oliver Ames High School for Game 7 of the 2017 Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game, Miles Jackson. Miles, we've got the consolation game right now between the South Boston Knights and the Oliver Ames Tigers. Southie losing to Cardinal Spellman in an action-packed, foul-heavy game last uh, two nights ago here at Oliver Ames. And Oliver Ames losing to the Brockton Boxers in the fourth game of this tournament. Brockton is proving to be a team that nobody can hang with. Yeah, they've got all the weapons. Um, good coach. Hopefully that'll take them a long way. And as long as they take one game at a time, they should be okay. So the most interesting moment as number 10 hits a three, it is four to three, Oliver Ames on top. Yeah, Christian Arthur, senior. What remains the craziest sequence of this tournament plays a factor in this game. Number three for Southie. As Spillane for three, no good. Yaniel Balbuena was at the free throw line in game three. He wow. was fouled by Spellman's Craig Faria. Someone said something. We're still not sure what was said or what have you. Balbuena was given a double tech, tossed from the game. Faria was given a tech. What resulted from this is Southie got one shot at the free throw line. And that is the reason that Balbuena is not in the starting lineup tonight. A double tech results in an automatic one game suspension. And of course then to top it off because we thought that was the craziest thing in basketball this week. Celtics last night rallying from 26 points down to take their first lead of the game last night against Houston. 99 to 98, I believe, was the score. The Celtics led for exactly 3.7 seconds of that game. Wow, that was just uh, perseverance right there. They didn't give up, like you said, 26 points down. And the, and coach the crazy sequence is that James Harden was whistled for two offensive fouls on back-to-back -back inbounding plays yeah. to set up the Celtics and Al Horford's game-winning shot. Yeah, those uh, they were close, but they, when you see it on replay, it looks like it was a foul. He initiated it, put put his arm, initiated the contact against the defensive player, so, so they called it. He came in with a little force. I mean, um, you, you can't do that with uh, a few seconds left in the game. You don't want to leave it up to the referees. Well, Houston was the better team all night. Yeah. As it is six to four, Oliver Ames on top of Southie. This is the men's consolation game. It was number 23 hit his free throw, Jake Ehrlich. Game everyone's talking about. There was a huge back and forth on Facebook earlier between at least seven or eight people. There's an offensive foul called against Southie. Yeah, they got Arthur for pushing off to get that rebound. So the game everyone's talking about, it is Cardinal Spellman and the Brockton Boxers going at it officially for the first time in history. Yeah, it's really gonna be a treat see the two Brockton teams playing for the championship in the holiday tournament. We alluded to Division II Brighton being the great program that that is. Spellman is Division Three, So if we're playing the, well, they're two divisions lower than us, Brockton should kill them. That is untrue. This is a very evenly matched game. Yeah, that was a nice shot by Vas Vasquez Jr., the small Guard going in the red paint, no fear. Made the lollipop shot. 
the three for number 12 is no good. Matt Moyer put back the layup for Spillane is good. I tell you, tell you Matt, Oliver Ames has scored a, most of their points right underneath the basket. Easy layup or off the offensive boards right off the basket. Excuse me, right off the backboard. Three from Arthur is good. Yeah that's, what, yeah, that's what they need from Arthur this evening is to, to hit those threes, bring some of that defense out to him. He casts off the mark. It is all tied up at nine with 4.16 left in the first quarter. Southie, at least last night, was... Throwing the body around a lot, and it turned into a game of who committed less fouls. Real count. This is the official title. We looked at the book. There were 1,327 fouls called last night between Southie and Spellman. It's a lot of fouls. The refs didn't let them play. There's a steal for Chris Pearson's. Back to Pearson's oh, inside. Nice oh, some good passing for Oliver Ames. And number 12, Moyer was in the right place at the right time, and he was on the end of the tic-tac-toe. Yeah, that last pass by Chris Pearson's was uh, really sweet. Man was moving right to the basket and just dished it off real quickly. There was some oohs and odds from that pass. No dribbling, one touch passing, a three from way downtown, no good. Rebound to Pearsons. And Moyers shot no good. Selfie coming away with the rebound. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. This one deflected by Noah Fitzgerald. The Tiger went sliding into the bench. Action picking up here and we have the first look of the night at Jacques Samuels Hall. A small point guard for Southie. Kwong Lee, the sharpshooter from beyond the arc, has yet to attempt it as Spillane is in alone, laying it off the glass and in. Timeout, Southie. Yeah, that's a good timeout to coach. Coach uh, Hakeem Johnson, Hakem Johnson, called a timeout right there. It's a good timeout with 2.53 left in this first quarter. He does not want this game to get out of reach. Right now, it's only six-point lead, but it, 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 can in, um, it can increase if they're not careful. Uh, Oliver Ames, very disciplined team. So it's 15 to nine, Oliver Ames on top of the South Boston Knights. Men's consolation game, game seven of eight in this Oliver Ames holiday tournament. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We've been holed up here at Oliver Ames for the last three days. And the last game promises to be the best. Yes. Between Spellman and Brockton High. Samuels Hall assaulted in the corner. Oliver Ames playing some tremendous defense yeah, right now. Tough, tough, tough defense. In your face type defense. The uh, Tigers are playing. Uh, this is number 11, Noah Fitzgerald diving for it. Able to get it up to number 23 off the glass and in Jake Ehrlich for the Tigers and that makes it 17 to nine. Yeah, Tiger scoring a lot of points off of turnovers. And one for Ehrlich, number 11 of Southie Samuels Hall, called for the hit. Southie with the rebound, the free throw attempt, no good.
Kyle Murphy, the 5'8 sophomore into the game for the Knights. Wow, should have been a foul right there. There was body contact. When uh, Arthur went up for the jump, but he got no call. Push called against Pearsons. Short jumper, no good. Lee tipping the rebound to Spillane. Spillane, the senior captain of the Tigers. Now two minutes to go, 17-9. Oliver Ames on top. Driving baseline and a foul called against Southie. Oliver Rain's very patient when they're on offense to make sure they get the right, the easiest shot or right shot. Spillane three, no good. Put back layup. Yeah, Oliver Ames does an excellent job using that backboard to get that ball in the basket. Lead down low, some good passing, but nowhere to go with it. And a turnover, no if it's Gerald clogging the passing lane. Oh. His layup off the glass and in. 21-9, Oliver Ames up by 12. Yeah, funny shot there. Tell Southie missing their leading score and all around Gee, where's talent. the foul? He's getting hammered underneath. No call. Wow. Murphy down low. Kwong Lee on the putback attempt, counted in one for Kwong Lee's first points on the night. A hit called against Ehrlich. If it's gonna be this kind of game, buckle up, let the boys play. Fitzgerald comes out of the game for the Tigers. Murphy charging in and he's fouled midair by Matt Moyer. Good call by the ref and a good defensive play by Oliver Ames. Make him earn it at the uh, free throw line. Interesting situation on the Oliver Ames bench. Noah Fitzgerald not only looks and sounds gassed, but breathing very, very, very heavy. Almost to the point of getting an oxygen tank in the trainer. Wow. Wow. Southie coming away with it. Underneath the basket, 20 seconds to go. Shot clock off. It's 21-14. Oliver Ames on top. Southie holding on for last shot of the quarter. Murphy wide open calling for the ball. Instead, it's going to be Christian Arthur's last second shot. Does not fall. First quarter has come to an end. It's 21-14, a seven-point edge for the Oliver Ames Tigers. Not a bad first quarter by any stretch of the imagination. There is four fouls against each of these teams, Miles. And a high amount of fouls, as we saw two nights ago, could turn into a very... Very interesting situation at the end of the game where we saw two South Boston Knights fouling out of the game. Of course, Balbuena got the double tech and the ejection. Severely undermanned staff for the South Boston Knights at the end of their game against Cardinal Spellman the other night. Brockton boxers have 
entered the gym. Giddy up for that game. It is going to be a great one. Eldon Terry walking past us right now. The 6-7 boxer. A full 13 inches taller than me. And Tijon Glendardi is walking past us 6-6. Yeah, I heard he had a lot of, he had about 10 rebounds, they said, uh, the other night. Murphy, three, no good. Gonna be nice because the Brockton Boxers is sitting right behind us. Not much to criticize in their victory over Olive Rames the other night. So the key word to this game, Miles, it's gonna be consistency specifically by the officials. Definitely so, especially in a championship game. You want fair and consistent um, calls out there for uh, both, both sides of the um, court. This one has gotten fairly physical as Carlos Vasquez Jr., the 5'8 junior, now a three for Murphy, no good. Oh, for three beyond the arc now is Murphy. Spillane with the rebound for the Tigers. And now a three on the other end for OA, no good. 23 to 14, your score. Oliver Rams on top now by nine. Arthur able to recover the pass that was destined for out of play. Murphy double teamed in Miles' relentless defense yeah. by the Olive Rames Tigers. Yeah, and, it's, and th throwing in some uh, ill-advised passing by Southie. I've seen about three ill-advised passes in that first quarter. One just right there. You shouldn't have pat tried to work it inside, force the issue. And the formula is fairly simple for Olive Rames. Double team the ball carrier. A defender gets between. So if South Boston has the ball, you double team the ball carrier. The space in between the two Tigers is clogged by another Tiger. But three or four feet back from where the ball is. And that's how OA is coming away with so many turnovers. Yeah. That and it's a combination of zone and man. OA is playing with three zone back, but it seems like man coverage at the top of the key. Now Spillane racing across the hardwood, all the way in, laying it up. Oh, what a nice finger roll for Spillane. Yeah, that was pretty. Senior captain. Showing it how it's done. Now the turnover on South Boston is Arthur was ahead of the pass from Murphy. Spillane will take a breather on the Olive Rames bench. Pump fake driving baseline now Moyer uh, Fitzgerald down low, attempted dunk for number 23, Jake Ehrlich. Yeah, he got he got hacked on the arm. Could see he was flying towards yeah. the basket. He had one thing in mind. Two at two at the line. It is 28 to 14. Olive Rams doubling up the Knights. As Lee can't grab the pass out of play off of Olive Rams, however. Yeah, that was the second time the guard, number one, Kyle Murphy, has tried to force it in there inside. Arthur, three, good.
Wow. Counted in one for Oliver Ames. Oh, Noah Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Boy, he just put on the Jets. Once he got to the foul line, just put the speed in there. Nice drive to the basket. Spillane's going to come back in. I believe he's going to replace Fitzgerald. <laughs> A couple of Tigers thought they were the ones coming out. Ultimately, it is Aaron Fisher, the junior guard. Another turnover created yes. by relentless defense and clogging the passing lanes for all yeah, the range. Just too many turnovers for South Boston to claw their way back in this basketball game. They can cut down the turnovers. They might have a chance, but uh, they got to shut down these turnovers. 31-17, Oliver Ames on top. OA's defense has more takeaways. We're gonna double check the stat, but I believe Oliver Ames defense has more takeaways than Southie has points. Hmm. There's been a ton of stops for the Oliver Ames defense. Boxers, not many times they get to enjoy a basketball game from a viewer standpoint. Yeah. But head coach Bob Bowen is teeing that up <laughs> for the Boxers right now, enjoying this consolation game before taking on the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals. The Cardinals from Division Three, winning the title as recently as four years ago. Boxers D1. This could be the year. The Boxers have not won a basketball title since 1985. Think about that stat. There were some radically, like it was a radically different time period back in 1985. Basketball was a completely different game back then. Yeah. Arthur Strong to the basket, no good. Brought down by Ethan Traveling. Ekstrom. Yeah. As he was fighting his way out of there, he was walking. So good call by the referee. Southie's just trying to find some open space to fire up a three. A travel called against Jock Samuels Hall. More relentless defensive pressure for the Tigers. Yeah, Tigers playing good defense. You can tell this uh, Tiger team's well coached. Head coach Don Byron. It is 33-17, about halfway through the second quarter. Oliver Ames dominating a 16-point edge for the Tigers. Make it 17 as Fitzgerald hits his first of two free throws. A now bonus situation for the Tigers. Eight fouls against the Knights. Samuels Hall with a long three, no good. Came down on top of the head of Pearsons. Southie recovering. Vasquez to Arthur, Arthur flying in, fouled on his way up. Wow, he took off to the basket on that one. It was good speed. 
by Arthur. Excellent coaching by Don Byron. He said, guys, he's leaving his feet halfway down the lane. So they're not going to call him for a travel because he's not taking two steps. Get to him before he leaves his feet. Thirty-five seventeen as we have a substitution. Brendan Osborne, the senior guard in for Oliver Ames, replacing Fitzgerald. Osborne's first minutes of the night. Vasquez coming up with a loose ball all the way in, and his shot easily blocked by Spillane. Inbounds pass complete to Damian Alvarez. Samuels Hall to Arthur. Foul against Oliver Ames. It is Pearson's called for the foul. That is his second personal. Sixth against the Tigers. Miles, you can tell that Southie's strategy is give Balbuena's load to number 10, Christian Arthur. Balbuena was the quarterback of this offense. And top scorer is a three is good for Alvarez. Alvarez took the, took the shot because he was finally free to take a shot. Such smothering defense by the uh, Oliver Ames Tigers. He did the right thing and took the shot while nobody was on him. One of the few times. Here's that foul trouble that Southie got into the other night. The second personal on number 21, Damian Alvarez. The ninth foul against the Knights in the first half. Crowd filling in for the Battle of Brockton. Spellman and Brockton High going at it for the first time in the history of ever. Very excited for the All-Brockton Final. Two very, very evenly matched teams. If there was one weakness that I would say the boxers have to obviously exploit, Spellman got into a lot of foul trouble against Southie in the opening round of this tournament. Some more substitutions, it's 36-21. Oliver Ames on top by 15. Osborne looking to extend that His second free throw attempt, no good. All Raves now in a double bonus situation. One on one shooting situation for the Southie Knights. Jack Samuels Hall missing his long attempt. Oliver Ames coming down with the uncontested rebound. Osborne picking it up, getting it off to Fitzgerald. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. It is 36-21, Tigers on top of the Knights. Counting in one for Spillane with a nice layup. Arthur's gest gesturing like he can't believe the call was called, but it looked like he caught him on the arm as he was putting it up. 
It might have been a little ticky tack, but still, referee was right there. Osborne out, number three, Sean O'Brien is in. He's playing good on his free throw attempt. 39 to 21 the score as Olive Rames extends their lead. Travel, call against Alvarez. Winner of this game claiming third place in the Olive Rames Holiday Tournament. Fitzgerald to Ehrlich. Ehrlich down in the corner. His short jumper for number 22, Ethan Ekstrom, is good. Ninety seconds to go in the second quarter. A 20-point edge for the Tigers. Christian Arthur. Sends this one out of bounds. We're right here by the action. Again. BCA just about on the, court the, on the court side, yeah. Can't get much closer to the court than this. Four on the shot clock. Southie's going to fire one up. Short floater off the rim, no good. Good work by Ekstrom to rip down the rebound. Now a three for Spillane is good. Yeah, this is a good shooting uh, Tiger team. The lay-in for Simi Holman is good. 44 to 23, your score 41 seconds to go in the second quarter. Vasquez to Alvarez for three, no good. Spillane with the rebound, quickly getting it off to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald getting around Alvarez nicely. Ekstrom in the right place at the right time. Rather that was Jake Ehrlich. Shot clock off. It's a 21 point lead with five seconds to go in the first half, 44 to 23. Oliver Ames on top. Alvarez for three, it was tipped. And it's gonna be no good. The buzzer sounds, the first half has come to an end. Miles, Oliver Ames dominating. Yeah, they dominated so much that a lot of their shots were so easy. Right underneath, right off the backboard, and in, uh, there were so many shots underneath, I can't even count them. And the few outside shots they did take, they hit. So um, definitely, uh, Oliver Ames is on their game in this consolation game. Well, at halftime of the men's consolation game, game seven of eight in the Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament, it is the OA Tigers 44, the Southie Knights 23. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean... I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe, how was school today? Hi, Dad, it was great. Okay, honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. We, we just, just finished, finished dinner, dinner and it was time, time for homework. homework. He I hates hate homework. homework. It makes no sense. I don't know how he finds anything in his backpack. I can't find my backpack. I couldn't even read his handwriting. Holding the pencil makes my hand hurt. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying try as hard as I can. 
When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Oliver Ames High School for the men's consolation game, game seven of eight. Tonight, between the South Boston Knights, the Oliver Ames Tigers, once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside my broadcast partner, big game, Miles Jackson. Miles, pure domination for the Oliver Ames Tigers. It is 44 to 23. Southie has not been able to get anything going all night. Yeah, just too many turnovers, a lot of missed shots, no rebounding. Really, uh, they really need to really turn it all around, turn it all around in this second half to even make it respectable. Because right now they're down, looks like about 19 points. Kwong Lee hitting a free throw, a 20 point lead for the Tigers. Next game, the one everyone's talking about, it is the Cardinals, Spellman Cardinals. The Brockton Boxers going at it for the first time ever. Two teams from Brockton. It's gotta be some small miracle that these two teams have never played. Yeah, it, well, I think one reason is because of the divisions that they're in, they're so, they're two divisions apart. So most likely the only time they'll, be, they'll play each other is something like this, the holiday tournament. And um, it's in Brockton's favor that we were, both teams were put in the same tournament and they both won their uh, first round game, so they face each, face each other in the... Oof. Three is Big good. Three. Who is that? Damian Alvarez in the corner. It's, it's almost like a Brockton Christmas present to have uh, these two teams in the uh, championship. So, alluded to earlier, there was a giant back and forth on Facebook earlier. And someone tagged me in it. I don't know why, but it... <laughs> It was like, former players, oh man, I wish we could have played Spellman. I always wanted to play them. Some Spellman guys, oh, we always wanted to play Brockton High. And then it turned into, well, who was the better team back in the day? Yeah, of course. With, with that conversation, it's like, who's, could Golden State beat Michael Jordan's Bulls? You can't exactly. compare the two. It's two different games. Yeah. Two different errors. It is 46 to 38. Timeout called by Southie. As the crowd fills in for the game of the night. It's been a busy week here for Brockton Community Access. Not over yet. Almost, but not quite. When this game airs, tomorrow... Two o'clock puck drop, AZ Arena, Milton Wildcats, Brockton Boxers. Great matchup. Come say hi, bring us some hot chocolate because they will have the air conditioning on. Not cold enough outside. <laughs> Speaking of the temperature, a high of 16 degrees today. Stay warm, watch Brockton Community Access. We've got games going. All night long. Beginning, All night long. Beginning we're tomorrow? Fit, we're going to fit nine games into a weekly schedule. This is only seven days in a week. Usually one game goes ten yeah. airings consecutively. Not the case this week. There's also a little bit of shameless plug self-promotion here. BCA's magazine show, One North Main. Everybody knows it. It's a great show. A marathon on New Year's Eve. Every single show we produced this year in 2017 is playing. It's starting at like 10 in the morning. It's going to be phenomenal. I plan to tune in and watch a couple of the episodes. Well, I definitely would tune into that. If my math is correct, the soccer championship episode should be somewhere around 10 or 10.30 at night, getting ready for the ball to drop. Watch the championship trophy drop into Brockton.
Ooh. Another three by Arthur. Yes, one North Main Marathon starting early. Episodes dropping. I believe there's 40, uh, 39 episodes to watch all the best parts that Brockton has to offer. Prolific cinematographer, the producer of that show, Aaron Tebow. It is his birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Aaron. He's the one bringing you the sights and sounds from this game. There's a lot to cover here. Yeah. Prolific cinematographer, Aaron Tebow. Happy birthday. Excellent work on One North Main. It's been a heck of a year. Yes, it has. There's a few few episodes in there that are very, very noteworthy. Phenomenally produced. Not only the soccer episode, but the signature healthcare cancer walk. We've got our annual 5K episode. The holiday parade episode, the holiday music show. Spillane for three, no good. It hits the top of the backboard out of play. 49 to 34. Your score, Oliver Ames, up by 15. It's the annual graduation episode. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Spillane calling for it in the corner. It's going to instead find Christian Arthur. Yeah, nice steal. Ah, uh, and he blew the layup. And that's the difference between this South Boston team and this uh, All Reigns team. All Reigns, I, they probably made 90, 95% of their layups this evening. And that's what you got to do, make those layups. Turnover for Southie as the boxers have vacated to the locker rooms to prepare for the championship game. Spillane, three, good. Fifty-two to thirty-six. Your score. The Tigers on top. Big. They lead by twenty-six. Halfway through the third quarter. Oliver Ames dominating. Southie seemingly clawing their way a little bit back into it. Not quite at the bottom of the well. Still close. Murphy to Arthur. Vasquez calling for it. Arthur, three, good. Wow. Foul. Called against Vasquez. Already five fouls against the Tigers in this half. Only four minutes in. Splane three, no good. Kwong Lee coming down with the rebound. Well, somewhere in the mix of all these games as a hold is called against Olive Rames. Somewhere in this mix you will come across Southie Cardinal Spellman and that is where you will encounter that crazy sequence early in the third quarter where Yaniel Balboina was at the free throw line lining up to take his two shots Given a double technical, Craig Faria for Spellman also given a 
technical foul somewhere in that mix. Wow, that was a nice drive by Jack Spillane. Foul called, you know, against, who was that? Not Spillane, that was number 20. Or number 10, rather. It's Chris Pearson, this is his third personal. But Yane Valbuena, Southie's leading scorer up to that point. Along with the double technical foul comes an automatic one game suspension. Thus the reason we have not seen the 6'4 senior here tonight. Yeah, he's gotta show, show a little bit better character. He's, the, he's a senior. Spillane trying to fire off the quick three. Instead switches sides. Layup no good in the right place at the right time. He fouled was Ethan Ekstrom. Nice job by Ethan. Go up strong for that rebound. Then try to put it right back up. He was underneath the basket and was fouled. No good on his first. Ekstrom trying to make it a 15 point lead. Oh for two. Spillane, very athletic move as he falls down into the bench. And a jump ball called, Olive Rames bench calling for a foul. It will remain a Tigers ball. Yeah, head coach Don Bryan doesn't like the call. Or at least the he jump ball call, yeah. All sorts of fired up on the Tigers bench. Yeah, he jumped right up. Fortunately for the Tigers, it, the possession was in their favor. And Fitzgerald hit with an errant elbow by Vasquez. 2.45 to go in the third quarter. It is 54 to 40, and Noah Fitzgerald at the line for a couple of shots. Yeah, this Tiger team, very athletic team. A, a lot of the guys can, can um, dribble that basketball with no problem. Great on the inside when they're in offense. Arthur, or rather number four, Sammy Holman ripping down the rebound. Now it's Christian Arthur. Arthur easily the Knights' most valuable player here tonight. Eighth foul of the half against Oliver Ames. This one against Sean O'Brien, his second personal. Yeah, Christian Arthur. He's about the only member on this South Boston team that Oliver Ames is having a tough time defending. First free throw good to earn his second attempt. Accepted by Murphy. Lee, three, no good. Two Tigers fighting for it. Spillane coming down with it. Spillane all the way in, no good, but was fouled by Sammy Holman. Alvarez in for Holman, who has four personal fouls. One away from being tossed from this game. The 
screaming Alvarez to Arthur. Arthur double team for the Tigers, gets it to Murphy. Murphy losing it on the floor. It's gonna be a jump ball. Three, Alvarez, no good. Spillane coming down with another rebound. Yeah, uh, Alvarez just dominating the boards on both ends of the court. They must have called an offensive foul. Give and go, it finds Arthur down low. Followed on his way up. He'll get the line for a couple of shots. Good on his first attempt. 56 to 43, or score a 13. Point edge for the Tigers. Vasquez with the ball, a minute 25 left in the third quarter. Murphy, three, no good. Loose ball, OA has it. And a foul, I believe it's gonna be called on Kwong Lee who... Yeah, he just about tackled. Close line, Spillane. They're, <laughs> they're calling it a block, only because a close line slash shoulder tackle <laughs> has no official call. Well, five different things there. O'Brien, three, good. Fifty-nine, forty-three. a minute to go in the third. And another foul against Oliver Ames. This is getting out of hand. OA will be, or excuse me, Southie will be in a double bonus for the remainder of this game. Yeah, we That's still a long yeah. time. We still have a full quarter to plus 55.5 seconds. And if Southie has any hope of clawing their way back into this, they've got to exploit the fact that they're in a double bonus. Fifteen point edge, fifty-nine to forty-four the score. Southie working a full court press, Spillane all the way in, trying to draw the foul. He lays it up and in. Uh, Spillane knows how to drive to the basket and get that ball in the basket. He knows how to finish off plays. Arthur down low, no good. 30 seconds to go, shot clock off. Couple of offensive boards. And the amount of space underneath the hoop and the baseline comes into play as Arthur was well underneath the basket. Yeah, take a lot of hustle there by Arthur. Sixty-one forty-four OA on top by 17. Spillane with it, he's the right one to have the ball beyond the arc. Already with a handful of three-pointers. Losing possession of this one. Vasquez with it, two seconds. A long floater off the glass. No good, the buzzer sounds. And the third quarter has come to an end as Oliver Ames threw up 
a full court shot after the buzzer had sounded. Hit the rim and the backboard. Wouldn't have counted, but it would have been pretty. And you hear the oohs and ahs from the, uh, from the stands. So it's 61 to 44 at the end of the third quarter. Miles Southie is in a double bonus for the remainder of this game. What do they have to do to exploit that and claw their way back against a strong Olive Rames team? I'd say just give it to uh, Arthur a little bit more. He's doing all, all he can underneath the boards, offensive, offensively as well as defensively. Um, just get the ball in his hands, and uh, they ha they might have a chance to at least make this thing respectable. They've kind of clawed their way back a little bit, but then uh, the Tigers got a few more baskets to put it back um, to a, um, what do we got, 17? 17 point lead. So Olive Rams, Olive Rams defense really has slowed down in the second half. What do they have to do to get back on track? They have to um, pick, pick their defense back up a little bit. Like you said, they, it did slow down in the third quarter a little bit. It was tenacious in that first half. So uh, we'll see what they do to uh, keep this comfortable lead. Spillane has been on fire for the Tigers. And I believe it is Alvarez going to be called for the block. Damian Alvarez, his third personal. That puts Olive Rames in a one in one shooting situation. Blaine grabbing the rebound over Arthur. And now it's Noah Fitzgerald. Spillane, three, no good. Grabbed by Ehrlich, no good now. Brought down by Alvarez for Southie. Yeah, that was a nice block by number one, the guard coming from behind and blocking that shot from on the big man. Vasquez turns it over to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald all the way, laying it up and in. Alvarez, three, no good. 6.45 left to go, it's 63 to 44. OA on top. Kind of a wild shot by Arthur. Somehow he's able to get it off. Spillane losing it to Arthur. Arthur able to squirt it to Kyle Murphy. Murphy's layup. No good, Fitzgerald with the rebound. And that's another big difference. Oliver Ames is making their layups, and South Boston are missing a lot of their layups this evening, which has been very costly. There is six minutes and change left, plus a warm up until the game of the night between Cardinal Spellman. And Brockton High is a travel called against Arthur, and he has no idea what wow. the call was. Wow, that was a tough call. That was a tough call. Referee should have just let him play right there. Fitzgerald Spillane, top of the key. Moyer. A push called against Lee. That was a good call there. You can see the uh, Tiger player going to the ground on the push. Lee's got a handful of fouls. That's his third personal. Ooh. 
Ehrlich good on his first attempt here in the second. Ekstrom's gonna come out in favor of Pearsons. Two or two at the line is Ehrlich. 65 to 44, just under six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The crowd's starting to fill in for Spellman and Brockton, the championship game in the men's slate. The Brockton Lady Boxers basketball team is in attendance. Come support their, uh, their boys basketball team. Their leader, Analicia Fernandez, having a phenomenal year, scouted by a number of colleges. We've seen no fewer than three colleges at each of the Boxers' home games. Boxers now three and two, those two losses coming in this tournament. I've got a Celtics fan passing us. Little guy. Got all the Celtic garb on. Lady Boxers sophomore captain, Elizabeth Williams. That always amazes me to say. Sophomore captain elected by her peers. Elizabeth Williams having a phenomenal year for the Boxers. Five forty left in the fourth quarter, sixty-five to forty-four. Your score: Olive Rams on top by twenty-one points. And the MVP last night was tough to gauge, but tonight there is absolutely no mistake. It is Jack Spillane for the Olive Rams Tigers and Christian Arthur for the Southie Knights. Push called against Kwong Lee's fourth personal. And he's complaining to the officials, I I got the ball. Oh, uh, so I, he th thought. Th there was some body contact there. He's playing good on his first attempt. Oliver Ames now in a double bonus situation. Blaine, one or two at the line, grabbing the rebound nicely was number 22, Ethan Ekstrom. Now watch out, in alone is number 11, Noah Fitzgerald laying it up and in. Miles, it's been the little mistakes that Oliver Ames has capitalized yeah. on to give him this Huge 24 point lead. Yeah, what I've noticed is this game has um, carried on is that one of South Boston's problems is that they don't have a real solid point guard to lead the team as they come down the court. Um, someone to drive to the basket or, or get the ball inside with good passes. They kind of lack that uh, star guard on this team to lead them. Usually that is Yaniel Balbuena. Okay, there you go. Who is suspended for this game by virtue of a double technical foul. There's a hit that we should have been. Should have been called. We heard the contact and the <laughs> slap from here. Spillane thought about the three drives baseline. Goes up, lays it up and in. Seventy to forty-four year score. The Tigers are on top. Four minutes left in this one. Oh, nice pass. Didn't even look. Alejandro Troncoso Dipre. 
into the game for the South Boston Knights. Please don't ask me to say that five times fast. Spillane, three, no good. Offensive board for Sean O'Brien. Gets it back to Spillane, Spillane loses it. Oliver Williams gets it right back. Spillane down low to number 22. Ethan Ekstrom and his shot is good. Seventy-two forty-six, three fifteen to go. This one, I'm going to say, is over. Twenty-six point edge for the box uh, for the Tigers. Excuse me. Two no good, bouncing around scrum on the floor. OA comes away with it. I think the refs have a little keep the clock going mentality. Fitzgerald hits the floor. Murphy's going to be called for the foul. Kyle Murphy's first personal foul, the 11th on the Knights. Kyle Murphy, a sophomore for the Knights. Well, as we start to see some of that foul trouble that interrupted the Spellman game as we will have four subs, Jake, uh, Jack Spillane, the MVP for the Oliver Rams Tigers on the bench. Lone man still on the floor for the Tigers is Fitzgerald who now comes out. After going two or two at the line, it is 74. So 46, Tigers on top. Murphy's layup no good, fouled. On his way up, will be at the line for two shots. One of two at the line is Murphy, 74 to 47. Yeah, number 24, Michael Green. We called him last night the blonde haired assassin. Layup no good for number 15, Carmine Tropiano. Yeah, well, I think if Tropiano would have hit that shot, this crowd would have erupted. The Oliver Ames fans. So now we got to learn a whole nother roster. <laughs> One to 30 to go. It's 74 to 47. Mark Bissonette getting ready to come to the game for the Tigers. Somebody really just call, call a timeout? Time out? Yeah. Did somebody <laughs> really just call a timeout? <laughs> One at 22 to go. It is 74 to 47. Oliver Ames up big. The next game, very excited for. It's Spellman, Brockton High, first time ever for those two teams. Meeting up on the hardwood, a three is no good, and the the bench is yes, ready to erupt, erupt over here. Yes, they are. Cheering on their teammates. A three for Southie, no good. A rebound for Carmine Tropiano. 
High flying layup is good, and the bench goes nuts. Under a minute to go now, 40 seconds to go in this one. It is 76 to 47. A layup is good. For Southie. Now it's Osborne to Michael Green. Back to Osborne. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Osborne in, sends it out to Tropiano. Tropiano stops, pops, no good. 0 for 3 shooting is Tropiano. The bench and the crowd is ready for yeah. him to hit a shot. Yeah, he smiled on that air ball. 10 seconds left. Murphy's just going to hold on to it. 76 to 49 is going to be your final score. I lied a three for Damian Alvarez. <laughs> a buzzer beating three from just inside half court. 76 to 52. Your score, Southie ending it with a bang, but all of Rams claiming third place in their own holiday tournament. Miles, game started out with stringent all of Rames defense that led to turnovers, that led to points. It slowed down for a little bit, but all of Rames able to pull away. Yeah, and all of Rames pulled away because they, they controlled the boards. They had tenacious defense on um, South Boston. It, it wasn't much South Boston could do w without their one of their star players out because of uh, a foolish foolish um, play in the game before. So they, they, had, they paid the price, and hopefully he'll learn his lesson about keeping his head cool because it, it hurt his team. Your final score, 76 to 52. The Olive Rams Tigers claiming third place over the South Boston Knights. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson, our cameraman, the prolific cinematographer, Aaron Tebow. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we'll see you next game.